guys, how are you doing? Welcome back to a brand new video. Simon down here at Burford Golf Lab. 16 quid bargain that I bought last year um, off eBay. Now I do a lot of flipping um, in the winter just to make extra money and I put in a bid for this, didn't think I was get it. I got it and I probably, I think it was like six quid, eight quid delivery. So it's probably about 25 quid all in all for this bad boy. Um, and as I say, I don't like hybrids. As I say, I was going to sell it. However, this is now my secret weapon for the YouTube Open, the Fairway Finder. Now, it's got a regular stiff shaft. It's, um, uh, three, um, it's a three hybrid, I should say, 19 degrees, standard, standard, standard. Um, however, this is why it's gonna be good for me, not necessarily um, what I'd put in the bag normally. I'm normally a two-arm player, three-arm player, because it produces that longer, lower ball flight. Um, Any time you have um, a bigger head, normally it's gonna launch higher just because the center of gravity is further back. However, why is that good for me? It's because it's gonna produce a lot of spin and it's gonna launch high. And it means that even with a bad shot, I'm gonna get away with it. Even with an off center shot, I'm gonna get away with it. Um, and if you're new to the channel, welcome. Um, I wanna compete in long drive next year. And all I've been doing through winter is basically smashing a driver, 48 inches, four degree. This feels tiny in my hands. Um, and so does everything else in my bag. That's what she said. Um, and this feels like a toys club. So it means that I could swing it just nice and smoothly. It's gonna produce a 220-ish yardage. Um, uh, and even with the bad shots, for example, like when I'm pushing it, or yeah, push and block, push and hook is basically my bad shot at the moment. It means with the hook, with the amount of backspin this thing's gonna produce, it should just swamp it a bit more. So rather than being OB, I'm now in heavy rough. Perfect. <laughs> um, so yeah, that is my bargain. As I said, I wanted to get something secondhand. I do a lot of secondhand stuff on this channel. Um, I'm a big fan of secondhand stuff. And if you know what you're looking for and you know what uh, could work for you, then there's a lot of money to be saved. And also you can make money. I can definitely sell this more than 25 quid easily because it's actually in really good nick. Um, and it's up there with the rest of the technology that's out there. Maybe a few miles an hour ball speed. But as I say, normally it wouldn't be in the bag because it'd be useless for me. But for its purpose of this tournament, it's going to work quite well. Just because I still haven't even looked at the card for Formby Hall because I'm an idiot. Um, but I imagine there's going to be a few tight fairways that I'm going to have to hit a 200 plus shot um, down the middle. I could do that with my four iron um, uh, or three iron. But I can imagine on the day there's going to be a tiny bit of pressure. Hands are going to be a tiny bit tighter. And I'm going to probably swing it a tiny bit faster. So flushing out the middle is not necessarily always going to happen. And I need that slight bit of forgiveness. Um, uh, just to nudge me down there to leave myself with a nice little iron into the green. Break 80. Cheers for coming. Right, guys. Um, let's hit this. I'll show you how far it goes. I'll show you the numbers. We'll have a quick chat. If you like this video, leave it a like. As always, please subscribe. And yeah. Let's go. Now this is a great reason why you should always film your swing and watch it back. Because even at the start of this video, I said nice smooth swings. I literally still go at it full pelt. I even get faster through this session. And I think this um, maybe is typical with most golfers is that when you're hitting it well, like I do in the first maybe three to four shots, I try and hit it even harder. It's almost like in your human nature that you want to hit it bad. So you almost feel like you want the wheels to come off because that's almost like your comfort zone. So I hit the first few and I'm going, you know what? It's starting to feel really good. Even when I'm backing out of it, over releasing it, whatever it is, all of a sudden I get quicker and quicker and you'll see that through these swings. But um, uh, anyway, unedited, um, uh, I think I hit about 10, 12 shots, something like that. So you get to see the good and bad. Um, and obviously that one there, obviously slightly out of the hill, I pulled it a tiny bit. But obviously this is going to be my fairway finder. This is the one that I'm going to just use when the fairway is a tiny bit tighter. Um, and I feel like I'll just be able to hit it out the toe or the heel or slightly on the inside or slightly on the outside. But I'm still going to be in play and I think that's key. Um, just having that club that you're confident with um, and you're not going to get too um, anxious and standing over uh, like a three wood or a driver where you're just not confident you're going to find a fairway. Now, that being said, 
I'm going to be aggressive. Um, I'm going to take my 48 inch driver because I'd like to pull that out on a few holes. I'd like to get some footage of me pulling that out on a few holes as well as using my standard driver. Um, so I'm not saying that this is going to be the club that I'm going to hit off every tee because as you see, I can hit it 240 odd. I mean, I went out on the golf course the other day, downwind, this thing goes about 260, 270 because it goes so high and you've got a bit of downwind um, behind you. It's going for days. Um, but I'm not going to be that guy. I'm, I'm going to use what is um, my strong point, which is my length, and I'd like to get a few holes, but I do take out my 48-inch uh, four-degree driver. That being said, the bad shots with it, guys. I mean, you've seen a few of the footage. I've been kind to myself because there are some bad shots. And you see there that low pull hook. And this is with a rescue, by the way. Um, uh, imagine that with my driver. I mean, I could be there like with five balls in the tee and not hit a fairway. So I'm going to have to be quite um, uh, choosy and select when I do get that driver out. And it, there has to be a few holes either side um, for me to find another fairway to be me like confident enough to hit it and this is why this rescue is going to be kind of key and also i want to show you guys that you don't have to have brand new technology like yes the flaws on this is that it spins too much for me but that's almost why it's better like that pull shot there i've probably missed, missed the target by about 25 yards left but that's normally going to find the fairway that's normally going to find the rough um so that i've got a wedge left into the green and that's all i'm looking for i'm not looking for fairway stats um i'm just looking for something that keeps pace of play up and i'm not holding whoever i'm playing with on the day um uh, and obviously that's gonna get drawn on the day and i'm really excited to see who i get to play with um and honestly i don't really mind but at the same time there are a few people that if i do get to play with that'd be a great experience so yes this is very much um i think i'll check in my glove because it started slipping a bit um uh, so this is very much my safe alternative especially to get the confidence because i might hit a few bad shots early on and this is very much something that i don't really feel i can hit badly i think i do hit a few swings here where i just step up and hit it and i think also that's important not overthink it i'm a massive overthinker i'm quite a imaginative creative person hence why i love doing youtube and i love doing all this kind of stuff but that doesn't help when you're a golfer because you think of a lot of the bad things and not necessarily focus on the positive things it's very easy for me to get distracted as a person um uh, and just stepping up and hitting it sometimes is just key you know you when you have those putts and you just get up to them and hit them use your subconscious more and i think that's what i'm gonna have to do a bit more in the day um uh, but as i say there are bargains out there you can find stuff as long as you know what you're looking for and the great thing about buying secondhand equipment anything on ebay um pretty much is priced pretty accurately so even if you buy something you don't like it you're going to be able to sell it for pretty much exactly the same as what you bought it for um and i wanted to show you that as well basically so guys there you have it there is my bargain fairway finder um uh, as i say it's going to do the job hopefully it's going to reduce my score somewhat um, when I don't need to take the big stick as much probably still take the big stick quite a lot um, uh, but yeah guys thank you ever so much for watching as always leave this video a like please subscribe if you are new and catch you guys later